Hi guys, Kishan is here again and I welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look a method which is available in concurrent hash map and that method is called reduce method. So if you press, let's create an object of concurrent hash map. Concurrent hash map and key and value I'm going to take as a string itself. And let's give the instance name as map itself and create an instance of concurrent hash map. Okay, so here uh, let's add some key value pairs in this map. So map as a put method. So let's give the key as name as Krishna and country is country is suppose india right similarly we can add some more elements more entry in this map oh, like a next uh, uh, entry i'm going to add ahmad and let's say suppose ahmad belongs to pakistan okay Again, map dot put and next key value pairs I'm going to add Frank and suppose this country is US and let's add one more entry now suppose a uh, person name is Martin and is country his country is Germany okay so I have added uh, these four entries in this map and in this demo in this video we are going to explore the reduce method right which you can see over here the reduce method is checks first parameter is a long saying that parallel is threshold and second parameter is the by function and that is nothing but a transformer so uh, key value pairs you can transform into some uh, other format and finally third elements you have a something is called reducer that is that works as a aggregator so transformer transforms the i mean input which is which you are taking from the map and finally reducer will get the aggregate uh, value right so let's threshold value i'm going to specify two and this transformer you can define as a transformer you can define as a by function right you can you can see uh, signature of this method right so here you can define as a uh, k and v and uh, let's define as a lambda expression Okay. now k key and value we want to separate as like this hyphen value hyphen and this is v and reducer will combine all those results these results will be combined by the reducer and again reducer is your by function functional interface so i would say reducer r1 r2 and i want reducer should separate every this result with comma separated so i would say r1 comma r2 that's it now we get the result i mean aggregate result which is done by this reducer and if you try to print this value then what you will get you will get Krishna uh, hyphen India comma which is done by the reducer Ahmad hyphen Pakistan comma Frank hyphen US comma Martin hyphen Germany so this kind of output we will get from this reduce function <coughs> so look at here so output we are getting in this fashion whatever I told you now there are some overloaded method not exactly overloaded but uh, some uh, kind of reduce method again 
and that has been designed for the different purposes so let me show you so if you look into the concurrent hash map then there are a lot of reuse method right with different name so map dot if you check reduce then see the lot of reuse methods are there right even reduce method for the different data type like like for double long and different reduce method for keys right so there are a lot of uh, reuse method uh, is there so let's go for reduce method for uh, i would say reduce method reduce keys so basically i'm looking for this so first attribute is value is threshold second again second parameter is by function which is a reducer over here right so so let's see so threshold parallel threshold i am giving two and here we'll have to specify as a this is a, a by function method so let's say k comma v right and let's define a so see the method name reduce keys so this will give the uh, so second attribute we have a reducer right so reducer will basically that will combine the result is produced by the all concurrent hash map keys and here what i will do so why not we do k1 comma k2 right and here you can say k1 let's separate with comma plus k2 right so what's wrong with this okay there is only one so now if you look into the output of this so this will give the output that will combine uh, that will give the combined result of all keys right so here keys is the name of the portion and all name will be separated with a comma and that result will get so let me show you right so all name we have extracted and that is separated with the comma that's the use of reduce keys similarly you have a reduce you may have a reduce values method as well right so if you look into map and you say reduce uh, values right so you have a lot of overloaded reduce values method so i'm looking for for this one which takes two parameters so color is threshold i'm specifying two that's right. so internally two threads will work on this functionality and here we can specify reducer again something like this so this will work for the value so let's specify v1 v2 v1 v2 that's it right so this method will produce this reducer will produce i mean this, this will give the output of this reducer basically give the output uh, in the form of comma separated and basically this will extract all values like india pakistan us general every value will be separated with the comma if i can show you the output so let's separate this two output with this marker and if i run it then i can show you like you can see india and if all value is separated with the comma that's the use of reduce value so there are a lot of reuse method you can explore yourself so basically in this video tutorial i have shown you three reduce method right reduce reduce keys reduce values so rest of the me method I, I am very much sure you can explore yourself rest of the method works in similar fashion but for different requirement so basically you need to think uh, so when you get requirement then which method is appropriate for your requirement so accordingly you need to choose uh, reduced method so that's the thing i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial and 
this code I am going to upload on the github and github location I will specify in the video description itself so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial